Yo, it's Problem Playboys. Welcome back to another video. And today's video is going to be a how to video. And uh, I'm pretty sure there's like a million how to videos on how to do this one thing. But ain't nobody going to do it like how I do it. You feel me? Bitch! So, in today's video, what we're going to be doing with Dusty is we are going to be bleeding the brakes on Dusty because I haven't bled my brakes since I got the car. So I already know the oil is done and it's, it's definitely needed for the car. Um, you guys know that I changed my brakes. I also changed them again because those brakes, the yellow stuff, they are great brakes, but they're literally just for. Now, why y'all ain't tell me I wasn't focused? I thought we was homeboys. That's crazy. The track car, the amount of brake dust I used to get from just doing one pull or just like driving it to work, it was crazy. So I swapped out. And got some uh their last brakes and uh they don't they don't buy as hard as the yellow stuff but uh i don't know if that's because i never changed the fluid so that's what i'm gonna do today we're gonna be changing the fluid super super easy job um if you have a vacuum pump a jack some brake fluid and uh i think an eight millimeter wrench i'll verify when i you know get underneath the car you could do this job too if you don't have it go get it yeah bum. all right so first thing first um Put some gloves on because the brake fluid is pretty like bad on your skin and on your paint too. So try not to let it get on your paint. Um, you gotta see I got like a little dirty rag that's wrapped around the wrapped around the blow-off valve and stuff like that. So nothing gets like no oil uh, brake fluid gets on anything. Even though I know my valve covers clap and I I won't even care if brake brake fluid got on my valve cover. But yeah, um, make sure that's just covered up a little bit so you don't spill stuff everywhere get some gloves most definitely get some gloves so for the s size the knife gens we use dot three um if you guys don't have a vacuum pump a vacuum i mean a brake bleeder what am i saying but yeah a vacuum pump go to harbor freight get you one this one is actually not not even mine this is adonis and i need to return this to him but <laughs> he gonna see the video probably hit me up like hey bro i need that so definitely gotta give this back to him and um yeah bro that's really it Oh, also you need to jack up your car. If your car isn't lower like mine, you probably be able to go underneath and uh, get to the valve. But my car is pretty low. Not st stupid low, but it's pretty low. And uh, I am gonna have to jack up the car just to get underneath. For this job, you don't need to uh, take off your wheels. Feel free to do it if you want, but you don't need to because all you're dealing with is just the brake. Uh, the valve is on the back, so you can go underneath the car and actually see the valve. So, if you want to take off your wheels, be my guest. If you don't, don't. But, yeah, that's how I'm going to do it. I'm not taking off my wheels. I'm bad boy staying on the car. So, the order it goes is from your passenger uh, back wheel. Then it goes to your driver's side. Then it goes to your passenger side. And then you finally do your driver's side. Um, what I'm going to do first is uh, suck up all the oil that's in here. Pause. Because, as you guys can see... It's pretty nasty in there. But yeah, it's the first thing I'm gonna do. So I'm trying to be careful with this, but I wanted to show you guys the color of my fluid. This is like green. All right, guys. So after you uh, drain the fluid or remove the fluid, or however you do with a turkey baser or the vacuum bleeder itself, you're gonna get your dot three fluid and you're gonna fill it up. I'm gonna fill mine up all the way, just because, just because I'm gonna be bleeding the brakes. Alright guys, so once you finish filling it up, put the cap back on, and now what we're going to go do is jack up the passenger rear side of the car. And uh, I'm going to show you guys what to do next. It's a very simple process after that. Just remove the nipple, uh, connect the hose, break the line, and start pumping. And uh, once you're pumping, you have to wash the system, 
And uh, yeah, that's really it. But I'm gonna show you guys because it's pretty easy, super, super easy. Like a four year old can really do this. All right, guys, so I'm on my phone because it makes it a little bit easier for me to show you guys instead of having like the big giant camera. But you see how I have it. Um, it has a nipple on it, so you just pull off that nipple. So you're just gonna pull off that nipple. Uh, the size is a 10 millimeter socket or a wrench. You're gonna put it on top, crack it loose. Um, actually, no, just use a 10 millimeter wrench, not a socket, because you won't be able to like slip on it, slip on the uh, vacuum bleeder. So uh, right now it's tightened. What you're gonna do, you're gonna fit on your vacuum bleeder. Uh, let me get, do that real quick. So vacuum bleeder is on. You're just gonna crack it loose. I think that's tightening it. Yeah, that's that's tightening it. So now it's cracked loose, and uh, I'm gonna start pumping. Should, should see fluid coming out of it. There you go. And you're gonna keep doing it for a while. So uh, yeah, fluid is definitely coming out. Um, I'm not gonna show you guys this whole process because this is pretty boring and I'm like in a terrible angle. So show you guys when I'm finished. Three hours later. So as you guys can see, that's the fluid that's coming out of my uh, brakes. And uh, yeah, I'm so glad I'm doing this. That is disgusting. All right guys, so you know how it is in Florida. If you live in Florida, actually a lot of you guys are already experiencing this too, but it get dark too damn fast, bro. It's only like six. 6 30 and the sun's completely down it looked like it's nine o'clock bro and uh i can't even film the like i can't film the outro to this or like anything else because it's so damn dark but so since it's dark see y'all boys tomorrow man they get it all right guys so day two um basically just showing you guys what i did so you guys can actually see uh cars buttoned up everything's tightened Ooh, it's kind of chilly, boy. I should have put a jacket on. But, uh, oh, the hood's already popped. So. All right, guys. So, everything's back to normal. Um, I need to go get more brake fluid just to, like, bring it up a little bit more. But as you guys can see, the fluid is now clear. Like... It kind of looks dirty on camera, but trust me, it's clear. So, uh, yeah, man. Uh, here's the difference. You can see the brake fluid here and the brake fluid there for the clutch. This is probably like a couple months old. Probably like almost a year. and Actually, a little bit more than a year. And then this is fresh, so like that's why it looks blackish because it's clear. But trust me, it is good. So, I did uh, apply some pressure to the brakes to see how the pedal felt. With the car on and with the car off uh definitely felt different with the car off like it felt more just like as soon as i touched the brake it was just stiff pause and then with the car on the pedal felt more stiff too it didn't feel as loose as it felt before which is something i really wanted because it got kind of sketchy when i'm trying to like slow down from doing the pull and i'm pressing the brakes and i'm not slowing down so good it's a good thing that i, I did this because the fluid you guys seen it was it was done, bro. But yeah, man, hopefully you guys learned how to flush your brakes. This is my man off the video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. Follow your boy on Instagram at underscore got the soda. Head down to my website, www.zubigarage.com. I am selling toggle switches for uh, the roller anti-lag. So if you guys want to pick up one of those for your turbo Honda, go ahead and do it. It's like, it does make a difference, bro. But yeah, so your boys out. Peace.